What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm excited because those scrap dino combos are coming. So in today's video we're going to be showing off some scrap dino combos that you need to know to be able to compete, be competitive, and just win in today's format. So if you guys do enjoy these videos make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content. Now one thing I will say is post ban list getting Jet Synchron back was huge for this deck. Jet Synchron gives you access to some combos that end on a scythe lock with just a single card. Yeah I don't want to spoil it just yet but these combos are insanely insanely powerful and if you guys haven't seen the deck profile make sure to check it out it's already on the channel I'll put a link in the description as well. So I don't want to keep you guys waiting for too long I hope you guys do enjoy all oh, these are some crazy combos so let's get right into it okay so for our first combo over here all you need is a scrap raptor literally a single scrap raptor you have four cards in hand you just need one to discard doesn't matter what you discard but a single scrap raptor is going to get you into a full combo that essentially just locks your opponent out of playing the game it's so crazy and all because jet synchron just came off the new ban list so scrap raptor is all you need now the nice thing about this combo that i want to say is you're playing three scrapyard in your deck so you have six copies of scrap raptor and you have three fossil dig so you actually have nine copies of scrap raptor if you need and if this is your best normal summon in your hand like if your hand is kind of awkward like you have an ultimate conductor tyranno a double evolution pill like you don't have the most optimal hand scrap raptor is all you're gonna need so you're gonna normal summon it you're gonna activate its effect to pop itself it's going to trigger and it's going to get to search you a scrap chimera so you're gonna get to scrap chimera here and you're gonna add it to your hand now because scrap raptor uses the effect to pop a card you can get an extra normal summon for a scrap monster so here you're gonna use your extra normal summon and you're gonna summon your scrap chimera chimera is gonna trigger here to summon back your scrap raptor now you're gonna link the scrap raptor and the scrap chimera raptor is a tuner by the way so you're gonna link these two off and you're gonna be able to summon your Christian halk of Fibrax. halk is gonna activate here and halk is gonna get to summon you a jet synchron the card that essentially broke this entire combo because this coming off the ban list makes this combo super super easy and it gives you access to one of the most broken cards in the game which for some reason i don't know why that card's not banned which i'm going to show you guys in just a second so next what you're going to do is you're going to link off the jet synchron because it's a level one so you're going to link it off and you're going to summon your link karibo now you're going to activate the jet synchron that's in your graveyard's effect i'll show you guys the graveyard right over here you're going to activate this effect to summon itself by pitching a card from your hand now you can pitch any card and this is why like it doesn't matter what the other four cards are because you can pitch any card here so it doesn't really matter what it is then you're going to use the jet synchron and the link karibo to go into your artifact dagda now this is the most simplest of combos now obviously if you open like a double evolution pill you guys see that you have a dino you have non-dinos in your graveyard so at this point your double evolution pill is live and you can continue from here right so you can keep going at this point but this is the most basic combo because now you're going to pass your turn right and you guys might be thinking spanko but you didn't even use a Dagda effect. Well, of course, obviously, like I said, if you have other cards in your hand, you can use the Dagda effect and you can do it on your turn. But it doesn't matter if you don't do it on your turn because you can do it on your opponent's turn. So what's going to happen is your opponent's going to go into main phase. Once they do anything in their main phase, you're going to activate your Hulk Fibrax to banish yourself to summon a Synchro Monster from your extra deck. Now, I will say this, though. Because Hulk is activating, so I'm going to activate to banish yourself. We'll just put the banish pile over here. Because it's banishing itself, Dagda is going to get to activate so that you can set your artifact scythe. And this is the card that I was talking about where it's one of the most broken cards in the game no clue why this card is even still legal and on top of that they brought back jet synchron which makes this a one card combo so now you get to set your artifact scythe and your hulk will resolve and your hulk is going to summon a tg wonder magician now tg wonder magician on summon is going to get to pop a back row card so you're going to pop the scythe you're going to activate the scythe in your graveyard to special summon it and now it's going to trigger to lock your opponent out of their extra deck completely now you guys might be wondering okay so spanko you just locked your opponent completely out of their extra deck you just scythe locked them what are they going to do at this point at this point you still have three cards in your hand but what if they have an answer to scythe what if they have an imperm in their hand what if they have a forbidden chalice in their hand what if they have a droplet and they just pitch one card you know for a droplet to negate the scythe cool tg wonder magician is a much better card than people are giving it credit for because this is a quick effect so what that means is you can actually dodge imperm you can dodge chalice because if they go imperm on scythe or chalice on scythe even if they go imperm or chalice on the tg wonder magician it's a quick effect that lets you synchro summon so you use the tg wonder magician and you use the scythe to synchro summon into a baron de fleur i'm sorry i'm proxying the baron here guys i don't have a baron on me so i'm gonna have to proxy it but you get a baron de fleur on your field so now what you've essentially done is you've scythe locked your opponent You've been able to dodge any potential hand trap that would have stopped the scythe from activating because of the TG Wonder Magician. But even if they don't have an Imperm or anything, you're still going to be able to do this. And you're going to synchro summon these two together into your Baron. And Baron gets you another negate. So not only have you just locked your opponent out of their extra deck, but you've also set up a negate on your side of the field with one single scrap after. You still have three cards in your hand. And again, if you, these are extenders, if these are cards that can help you push for game, keep in mind, like I said, if one of these is OV Raptor or a double evolution pill, something like that, and you get the chance to summon a conductor to your side of the field, conductor is 35. 
Bag this 15, Baron is 3k, which is exactly 8,000 damage. So if your opponent doesn't put up any monsters or only puts up one monster, you can use the Baron effect to pop a card they control, and then you can just go for game just with this. You don't even have to do anything else after you summon the Conductor if you have a chance to get to Conductor, and then you have game in that sense. So this is crazy because this is a one card combo. Okay, so the next combo is a two card combo involving any two of these cards. Keep in mind, Fossil Dig also is one of these cards. So if you have Oviraptor Fossil Dig, Baby Fossil Dig, Misk Fossil Dig, you can do the same thing. So keep in mind, there's a, th this is why this deck is so good is because there's so many different ways to get to the combo and there's so many different variations, but at the end of the day, they all do the same thing. So no matter which two card combo you open, if you open Baby Misk, if you open Baby Ovi, if you open Ovi Misk, it's all gonna be the same combo. All that changes is a little bit at the beginning of the combo, but you get to these three cards no matter what and you're fine, okay? So we're gonna do here with Ovi Baby. So here what you're gonna do is you're gonna normal summon your Ovi Raptor, okay? You're going to activate your Oviraptor effect, and Oviraptor is going to search your miscellaneous. So this is what I mean. If you have your Ovi misc, then your Ovi just searches a baby, right? So it's, it's the exact same thing, essentially. Then you're going to activate the mist to send it to the graveyard, and then you're going to activate the mist to banish it. I'll just put the banish pile over here, okay? So this is a banish pile. Banish it to be able to special summon an Archosaur from your deck to your side of the field. Archosaur on summon here is going to get to pop a dino. So you're going to pop the baby Sarasaurus that's in your hand. And then you're still protected under Misk at this point. So you're not going to be getting nibbed or impermed or anything like that at that point, right? And then you're going to get to search a double evolution pill to your hand. Baby will then trigger to summon another baby from the deck. Baby is so strong. Like these baby loops are so crazy. So you're going to get to summon another baby. Now Ovi's going to activate to pop this baby to summon the other baby. Now this baby that was just popped is going to trigger again. And you are going to get the chance to summon a scrap raptor. So at this point, you still have four monsters on your side of the board and they're all still dinos. So you're still safe at this point. Now you're going to activate the Scrap Raptor to pop itself. You're not going to pop the baby just yet. You're going to pop itself and it's going to get to search you a Scrap Chimera. And then it's also going to give you the extra normal summon for a Scrap Monster. So here, what you're going to do is you're going to search your Scrap Chimera. And then because of Raptor, you get the extra normal summon. So what we're going to do next here is we are going to normal summon the Scrap Chimera. We're going to activate its effect to special summon the Scrap Raptor back to your side of the field. What you're going to do next is you're going to use the Archosaur as well as the Chimera because you're using a Scrap monster you're gonna use these two to summon a scrap wyvern so scrap wyvern on summon is gonna let you target a scrap monster in your graveyard at this point a scrap chimera this is why you could have used the scrap chimera or the scrap raptor at this point it didn't really matter to make the wyvern because either way it's coming back but here we're just gonna use the scrap chimera we're gonna get to special summon it back and then we have to pop a card on our side of the field now if it's a scrap monster you get the special summon a scrap monster and then pop another card so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use the scrap wyvern to pop the scrap raptor and then get to summon our scrap golem from our deck. So we're gonna get to summon our scrap golem. And then once we summon the scrap golem, we actually have to pop a card on the field. So we still have the baby Sarasaurus. So now Scrap Wyvern is going to pop the baby Sarasaurus, triggering the baby Sarasaurus in the graveyard so that you can summon your giant Rex. So what you're gonna do at this point is gonna use the giant Rex as well as the Guardian Chimera to make your Gallant Granite. So this, this combo is going to get you to a crazy board, right? Now you guys might be wondering, what is Gallant Granite doing over here? You guys are going to see what Gallant Granite does, right? So we're going to use the Gallant Granite to detach our giant Rex, and we're going to to search a rock monster from our deck to our hand, and that rock monster is going to be our Nemesis Keystone. Nemesis Keystone is a great card. So if you guys don't know what Nemesis Keystone does, it pretty much reads you can banish a target monster except itself, special summon this card from your hand, and shuffle that card back into the deck. So why this is really important is because it's actually going to get to recycle your Miscellaneous Aureus, which is only a one of in your deck, and now you get to put it back into your deck for future turns. So what you're going to do here first before you do the keystone is you're going to activate your scrap golem to special summon this scrap raptor back from your graveyard. Do you guys see where we're going with this? We'll just keep reusing the scrap raptor as well as the baby Sarasaurus to keep summoning themselves back. So once you get to this point, there's multiple things you can do. You can do an Apollo with four negates, but I actually just like to go with Apollo with three. So what you're going to do here is you're going to use the scrap wyvern, the scrap golem, as well as the gallon granite, all to make your Apollo Yusa. Now, why this is important is because now Apollo is going to have three monster disruptions. And that's really important because you guys are going to see that the fourth one, even though you could make a fourth one, you don't necessarily need it because I'm going to show you that you can make actually a four and five if you don't make the fourth on the Apollo. I don't know if that makes sense, but it'll make sense in a second. Here, what you're going to do is you're going to activate your Keystone. Keystone has a great effect because it's going to get to put the one miscellaneous Horus that's banished to special summon itself onto the field. Scrap Raptors and Earth but Keystone is also on Earth. So you're gonna synchro summon these two together to make your Naturia Beast. So now you set up three monster negations and infinite essentially spell negates. So that's what you get from here. You still have the double evolution pill still in hand. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna activate your double evolution pill to banish any non-dino so we can banish Gallant Granite. But we're also gonna banish the giant Rex in the graveyard to summon our ultimate Conductor Tyranno straight from our deck. So here we're going to summon the Conductor Tyranno, and on top of summoning the Conductor Tyranno, Giant Rex is going to activate to summon itself back onto the field. Now you guys can use Giant Rex as well as the Soul Eating Oviraptor 
to make a Dolka. So remember how I said we lose the fourth in the disruption on Apollo? That's fine, because we actually have a fourth and a fifth with Dolka, because Dolka is not a once per turn. So now what you're ending on is three monster negates, two more monster negates, so a total of five monster negates, one disruption in terms of just putting everything in face down defense position that your opponent controls, and then essentially infinite Nat Beast negates. So here you're putting up one, two, three, four, five, six, and then infinite disruption. So six disruptions plus infinite spell disruptions. Now, what you can do instead is instead of making the Dolka, you guys can make Lagia. Depending on the situation you guys find yourself in, Lagia can negate the summon of monsters. So against certain matchups, like the striker matchup, obviously you already have Nat Beast for the striker matchup, which is insanely powerful. But Lagia is really good because it can negate the summons of something like their extra deck monsters with the ray when they have the ray. You can negate the extra deck monster summons. So that's why Lagia can be pretty good. This only puts you one disruption, whereas Dolka puts two disruptions. But it depends on what you need. It's like either way, one or the other, you're putting a ton of disruptions on the board and this is just a two card combo now i'm going to show you guys another two card combo that's essentially the same thing with the same two cards but it ends on a different board and what i mean by that is you can still use ov baby but you can also use like ov plus misc like i said it doesn't really matter which ones you open as long as you're starting with two of these three it doesn't really matter so it, it, like let's just go ov baby again or actually i'll just go misc baby it doesn't make a difference because no matter how you go about it it's going to do the same thing but uh yeah you can go ov baby you can go misc baby you can go misc ov it's all the same like i said earlier so what you're going to do here is instead you're just going to start off with misc right away and you're going to banish the miscellaneousaurus to summon an archosaur right so this is kind of what i mean by it's a little bit different the way you start but essentially the combo is going to end up being the same thing because now Archosaur is going to pop the baby and then going to search you a double evolution pill. Uh, baby's going to trigger to summon your Ovi. Now, this is why you summon Ovi off baby now, because Ovi is going to get to search and Ovi is actually going to get to search your other baby. Now, at this point, you actually still haven't used your normal summon. So all you got to do is normal summon baby and then you have Ovi to pop baby, summon baby back. So you guys can see that this is the exact same combo essentially as last time, but you just started off with a different hand, but it's the exact same like combo line essentially, right? So here, because you pop this baby, you're going to use the baby effect to special summon a scrap raptor from your deck. Okay, so you're going to summon the scrap raptor. So this is essentially the, the very similar combo. It just ends on a different end board. And I want to show you guys different end boards you guys can make. And that's the nice thing about this deck. It's not very linear. There's not one way to do things, right? So what you can do now is you can activate the scrap raptor to pop itself, of course, to search your scrap chimera. Then what you're going to do now is now raptor, of course, because it activated its effect, gives you an extra normal summon for a scrap monster. So you're going to summon the scrap chimera and scrap chimera is going to get to summon back your scrap raptor. Now at this point, you still have five monsters on the board and you guys can go back into the combo that I showed you earlier, but you guys can also do a different combo as well. What what you guys can do here is you can actually use your scrap chimera as well as your archosaur to go into your scrap wyvern so here what you're gonna do is you're gonna activate the scrap wyvern summon back the scrap chimera scrap wyvern is gonna activate to target the scrap raptor you're gonna pop it you're gonna get to summon scrap golem and then scrap wyvern is gonna have to pop a card in the field and you're gonna pop the baby serosaurus and baby serosaurus is now gonna trigger like th this the synergy here is just so crazy i don't know the synergy here is just so crazy but you're gonna get to summon giant rex off of your baby okay this is the same thing as last time but it's gonna differ up a little bit here in a second right so at this point they can argue like oh okay we can just nib you here we can just stop you here at this point right after they've already used their initial hand trap or after they've already tried to stop your combo the first time here you can actually just go straight into dolka if you wanted to with these two and then keep going from there but you don't have to because think about it you can i'm just going to show you guys this you don't need to do this but you can just go into, into dolka and then you can use one two three into apollo so you can end on dolka apollo with pill which ends on like this conductor so you can end on dolka apollo conductor same exact thing but uh i want to show you guys a little bit of a different way where you can still scythe lock your opponent here right so what you're going to do is you're going to activate your golem now because you have the scrap raptor in your graveyard to summon back the scrap raptor then what you're going to do is you're going to use the scrap raptor as well as the scrap wyvern to link into your Christian Halk Fibrax. Halk is gonna trigger to summon your Jet Synchron. So this is very simple, like in this sense, like it's not very much of a different combo. It's just like, you know, it's similar, but you're gonna go into the Halk combo instead. So you can Scythe lock your opponent here actually. So now at this point, what you can do is you can use any two monsters, but specifically you wanna use the Giant Rex for the combo. You guys will see why, but you're gonna use these two to go into your Dagda. Then what's nice about this combo is you're gonna have the pill that's gonna be able to activate the Dagda effect, right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna activate the pill and Dagda is gonna get the trigger. And what's gonna happen is you're going to set the scythe off of Dagda and the double evolution pill will summon a Conductor Tyranno. Now the cards you're going to banish here, you could banish your Giant Rex, but keep in mind all your zones are full at this point. So you don't want to actually banish your Giant Rex just yet, but you can just banish your Archosaur as well as your Scrap Wyvern or your Archosaur plus anything else, right? But you're, you're going to go these two, you're going to get to banish those two to essentially summon your Conductor, right? And you've already set the scythe. So at this point, the scythe is already set. So then what you can do, because you don't need the Dagda anymore, you can actually just go one, two, three, four. You have four materials here. You can go four materials straight 
into your Apollo. So what's nice about this combo is it's very similar to the last one because you have four disruptions on the Apollo. Again, you still have three cards in your hand, but instead here, what you can do is now in your opponent's main phase, they activate something. You can go help to summon your TG Wonder Magician. TG is going to trigger to pop the Scythe. Scythe is going to trigger to summon itself back and then essentially lock your opponent out. TG is going to trigger here, so you can use the TG and the Scythe to essentially summon your Baron. So this is kind of like a mix of both the first combo and the second combo I showed you, because here what you're doing is you're ending on the Scythe lock still, so your opponent is going to be locked out of their extra deck. You have four negates on Apollo, you have a negate on Baron, and you have the disruption with Conductor. Now at this point, the really nice thing about this combo is again, you have three cards still in your hand, but you have so much damage here on board, that if your opponent can't continue or can't summon anything or can't get to anything essentially, you have game. You have game already on the board because even if they have a monster or they set something or they summon a monster, whatever it is, and you can just bear and pop it on your turn and then you have kind of game here. So there's just so many different ways to do the combos, but they all send on like really crazy boards. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. I do want to say though, I only showed you guys three combos, but there's a lot more combos. Specifically, there's a lot more variations of these combos where you can make Dolka first. So keep in mind going games two, games three, if your opponent sides in the Biru and other hand traps, then you can adjust the combos and do variations where you can end on a Dolka beforehand. So this way you can still keep going. So I just want to say that there's a ton of ways to play this deck and that's why this deck is so fun because it's not very linear. But if you guys did enjoy, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more post banless content. There's going to be another one tomorrow, another one the day after that. There's a lot of post banless content coming soon. So you guys, I hope you guys did enjoy it. And with that, Spanko Sano. Peace.